guys, it's Jess. So today's video is going to be a haul. I have been buying way too many things for just random reasons and I've accumulated quite a lot of stuff. So I thought I would do a haul on it. I'm currently not sure why I'm wearing this beanie. I live in Florida and it's like 90 degrees outside and it's the summer and I'm, I'm not sure, but I kind of like it. So we're just gonna go with it. Just, just ignore it. I think it looks kind of cute. So firstly, I'm gonna be showing you guys everything that I bought through the thrift stores and as well Amazon because I've just been going a little crazy at both places. So first for my thrift store finds are these boots. I was so excited when I found them. They just look like such good condition. They just look so nice and I was just really excited because my other pair of like biker boots, combat boots type of thing, they were falling apart because I wore them so so much. Like the heel was like coming off. The ones I had before were black but these are brown but they're just really really nice and I was super excited they're my size they were originally $10 but I went on the day where everything was 50% off so these brand new boots were $5 like oh, yes I'm so excited I also picked up these pair of high-waisted jean shorts from the local thrift store and again this was on the 50% off day so they were originally $7 but I got them for $3.50 because that's how math works. They're just high-waisted and super cute and I'm really excited to wear these especially because I'm going up to Maine in a few weeks to work as a summer camp counselor and I'm gonna need clothes which is a, what a lot of this actually what most of these clothes are for is for camp just like things that I thought I would wear so I'm definitely going to be getting a lot of use out of those and I'm really excited to wear them. Next we have another pair of shorts and I saw these on the rack like oh my gosh I need them. They're like green cargo. They remind me of like Kim Possible like pants but they're in short form and they're high-waisted as well. They're from The Gap. Uh, originally they were $5 at thrift store so I got them for $2.50 and they're just super super cute and I tried them on and I really really like them so they'll definitely be making my uh, staff shirts very cute because we all have to wear like specific shirts every day that are for the staff and so we can wear whatever pants we want so the more I can accessorize with the pants the more fun outfit ting will be. The next shirt I got is this Hogwarts shirt. It's red, it's super cute. Like the like style down here where it's like longer in the back. So it just seems like very flowy. I've been trying to find like a red shirt because I, I realize I don't have any red shirts and I really want a red shirt. And I can never find a style that I like of the shirts, like the red shirts at any thrift stores that I go to for some reason. I was looking through the red section and I found this one and technically it's a red shirt, but like I don't want like just a plain red shirt. Still have not been able to find it, but I did find this Hogwarts shirt, which is pretty good enough. I'm, I'm okay with it for now. I've been collecting Harry Potter shirts apparently, so that was something. The next thing I got was this purple plaid. I, I mean, it's a shirt, but it's more of like a cardigan sweater thing. It's just purple and plaid and the thing with like camp is that everyone ends up wearing like plaid shirts over their camp, like their staff shirts just as a camp thing, that's just what happens and they're warm and so it like keeps you warm during the mornings when it is pretty cold up in Maine. I didn't have a flannel yet last year and everyone else had flannels and I really wanted one so I looked in the flannel section of my thrift store. It was the Salvation Army I believe and this is again on the 50% off day so this was originally $5 got it for $2.50 and the the material is like real flannel it's not like cotton flannel if that makes sense it's thick and it's gonna be warm and it's purple so I'm pumped I also found this super cute shirt uh, it's actually originally from Forever 21 it was five dollars I got it for $2.50 just got all these like nice button bead things on it I'll show you guys right up here and I just really liked it surprised that none of them were missing because usually at thrift stores like stuff Sometimes it isn't the best quality. You, you're lucky if it is, but sometimes it isn't. But this one had all the all the pieces on it, which was really fun. I was looking for like some white shirts just because I'm going to be dyeing my hair again. More red just because it's like faded out a lot. And I find that red goes really well with white. So that was the intention behind that. And I wanted like a nice shirt to wear to camp as well because we can't wear it during the day, but like if we go out, I wanted to look nice. Continuing as well with the white theme, I got this white sweater. It's like a cropped sweater, so like it's not super long, but it is very flowy. Originally $1.99, so I got it for a dollar. This was a dollar, like I love, I love the thrifting. It's my favorite thing. It's nice. I, I don't really have much else to say about it. It'll be nice to wear during the first week when we don't have to wear staff shirts and I want to look cute and that's perfect. The last clothing thing I picked up is this like green. Technically it's green. It's more like a turquoise green if that makes sense. It actually matches what I'm wearing right now. Exactly. That's weird. It was super baggy and I really like the design on the front here and it just like 
seems very warm and comfortable. It's from Croft and Barrow. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but it seems fancy. I don't think this one had a price tag on it, but I believe when they scanned it, it, it said it was $10, or, so then I bought it for five, which is weird if this was that much, but the other ones weren't, but it was still like five bucks, so I'm, I'm okay with it. But that's all of the clothes that I bought. So now we're gonna move on to books that I got also from thrift stores. I've been trying to start like my own book collection because I realized that like I had a lot of books and then I just ended up giving them away, so I've been trying to like, make another collection if that makes any sense and so i picked up some books to add to that collection as well as to bring to camp because i do a lot of reading up there when i'm bored because you can't have cell phones so i thought i would prepare myself this is what i found the first book i bought is city of dark magic by magnus flight i don't believe it's a ya novel i think it's just an adult novel but the summary sounded very interesting and the cover was gorgeous like can we admire this like oh it's so pretty. It's like luminescent. I love it. Basically, a music student called Sarah Weston goes to the Prague Castle to work in Prague. She has no idea how dangerous her life is about to become. Something about a cloak and dagger chase with a handsome time-traveling prince, a 400-year-old dwarf, and a U.S. senator who will do anything to keep her dark secrets hidden. So that sounded super entertaining, so I'm going to bring this with me and read that. Next, I picked up the book Eve by Anna Carey, and this one just seemed very interesting. And again, I'm so attracted to like beautiful covers. There's a redhead on the front, so I won't say I picked it up just for that reason, but it definitely helped with my decision making. This takes place in a dystopian society where this girl, do you have a name? It's Eve, her name is Eve, duh. And a deadly virus has wiped out most of the Earth's population and I guess this just happens after that and she's going on some adventure with a rebellious boy that's living in the wild called Caleb. I feel like all like rebellious boys are named Caleb. Is that is that just me? I just remember like the witch shows back when I was younger and her, his name was Caleb and he was part of the rebellion so that's, that's where that comes from, but this seemed interesting. The next book I got was The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith, also known as J.K. Rowling. I found it on the shelf and I'm like, this is a hardcover book. It's in perfect condition. $2.50, $2.50 for this. And I've been meaning to read it because it's J.K. Rowling and why not? found it and I was like, yes, I'll definitely buy this. This will be very fun to read when I'm looking for things to read. The last two books I got were A Great and Terrible Beauty as well as Rebel Angels, both by Libby Bray. This is a series, I believe there's a third book as well, but I've heard really good things about it and I found it at the thrift store. I originally found this one and I'm like, oh, I've been meaning to read that because I've heard good things about it. And then I picked up this one because I thought that it looked pretty. There was also a redhead on the front and I realized that this was the sequel to this one, so I got both. And I think they were like a dollar each, so that definitely helped. But I'm excited to read these and these are really light, so they'll be good in my suitcase to bring up to camp with me. So the last things I got were from Amazon. We will finish off this video with these because this video is getting very long. Um, I'm gonna have a lot of editing to do. First thing I got was a new tripod and this is the Manfrotto tripod. It was like $21, I believe. It's for my camera that I'm filming on right now, my vlogging camera slash my everything camera. I got this one because I bought the Gobi, like the Gorilla tripod first. It's the one that like bends and stuff, but I ended up snapping it in my bag by accident. And so like the camera like just did not feel secure on it anymore. Like you could just basically like very slightly like take the camera off and that's not how it's supposed to work. So I bought this one because Miss Remy Ashton uses this one. It has really good reviews. So I bought this one for my tripod and I'm excited to use it because I'm going to be taking a lot of trips this summer. I'm going to be using this quite a lot. The next thing I got is called a crazy creek and if you guys don't know what a crazy creek is, this is it. It's basically a chair that you sit in, like you just sit right here on the ground and then you can lean back like this. When you're sitting without a back to your chair, it kind of gives it that like illusion so you can lean back and like stretch your back out without having to lean up against something. So it just makes like sitting without chair backs easy. Everyone at my camp has one, but I did not have one last year and my back hurt so bad after the first week because I just was not used to sitting without having chair backs because I, I like to do this a lot, like scrunch. I bought this, it was about $25 off of Amazon. I'm so excited to be using this because it's just gonna make life so much so much easier and if you guys are into camping or like sporting these are super super helpful i'm surprised it's taken me this long to actually get one and the last thing in today's haul is the most exciting of all and that is 
my new Blue Yeti microphone. I have been wanting a nicer USB mic for the longest time. My first USB mic was bought from Sam Ash, which is a store down in Florida, and I got it like eight years ago just because I was like, I'm gonna record YouTube videos of me singing, which I, I have done, so I, I got use out of it. The noise in the background was like a lot. There was a lot of white noise. You could hear a lot of things in it. It just like wasn't a very good quality microphone. It was when I bought it, but like after years of use, obviously technology's gotten a lot better and expectations of myself have gotten a lot better. So I decided to upgrade this past week and get the Blue Yeti. And this is just such a nice microphone. I've already recorded some stuff on it that I'll be posting later, but it's just so nice. This was $110 because I got the refurbished version, which means that it wasn't brand new. Someone else had it before and they returned it, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It came in the original packaging. Like I basically just saved $20. I was super happy about it and it's got all these like controls on it. You can adjust the volume. Let's turn it on mute and this is the front side. And then if you look at the back, you can adjust what type of Thing you're recording so they have different recording styles depending on if if it's just you singing or if there's multiple people around the mic so that's super super awesome and you can also adjust the gain which i have very very low because i sing very very loud so i had to adjust the gain that is everything in today's haul thank you guys for watching i will be posting a lot more videos in the next coming weeks because I have a lot of free time until I go up to camp. So expect more videos from me. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Please remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Like, subscribe, do the thing. I need to work on an outro because I don't know what I'm doing. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.